it's nearly lunchtime. We've had a nice lay in today. We didn't get up till sort of 10. No. But yeah, it's amazing. We're at sea. It's not really very um, nice. Oh my God. It's like a mist. Liz, come look at this. You literally can't see anything. We're going into fog. It's weird. It's like we're in some abyss. Oh my God, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we're in the Irish Channel, going down the side here. We can see it on the map, actually. So we're in the Irish Sea, just coming down here. Oops, there, there you go. So maybe it might get a bit warmer as we go back down. We're at sea now for two days. It's nice. So the plan of action today is we've got lunch in Jamie's at one o'clock. Because the weather's not really nice, we're going to have a wander around the ship. Might do some purchases. Yeah. Might go and have a look. Liz wants to have a look at some nice watches. Yeah. Uh, might do some gambling. Yeah. Um, we've got a crooner, like a does a rat pack for Frank Sinatra sort of stuff on later on today as well in the theatre. So I think it's going to be a round the ship day. I might try and do some stuff for ship tour as well. It takes so long to do ship tours, but I will give it a go. Try and do each floor, but this is such a lot on the ship. but the weather in the Irish Channel wasn't really brilliant, but it's really gorgeous now. Um, what have we done today? It's probably a quiet day from your perspective because basically all we've done, we've been shopping. We went shopping and then went for Jamie's Italian and done some more shopping and then some sitting around. I don't think we've actually literally stepped outside. Um, bought some nice jewellery and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, the... the, the um, Jewelers here, you can do a little bit of a negotiation, which is nice. So we had a little bit of a, a laugh about price and what we were paying and what we were buying. So I bought a nice um, John Hardley um, bracelet. Um, um, yeah, and that's been our day really. Today we've got Wonderland, so we will take you and film that because Wonderland's like their extravagant tasting, weird menu. I'd be interesting to see what what it's all going to be about and then tomorrow's the last day oh and what else have we bought on oh, yeah we've also booked to come back in september for nine days to go to portugal and spain so booked it on board instead of we were meant to go to mykonos and santorini but not cruising the way the world is at the moment um it was just too risky and cancellations and everything so at least with a cruise we know where we are we get to southampton we get on it and we get back off again to southampton so we're going sailing on my birthday, 23rd of September, so I put that one, so yeah, that's been the day. Let's go see what Wonderland's about, and then obviously probably more cocktails, more the same, 
and see if we can be the last people on the boat again. To Wonderland, let's see, but apparently we've got some really good recommendations for this place, so apparently we've got to let the waiter decide and just go for the lot. Go with the flow. Let's see. Look how empty this is really. It's nice, but it almost is a little bit tiny too. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. People. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think 50% capacity would be, you know, nice-ish. We're at 25% now. Right, so how do we even get in it? Here. This bit here is really cool. Alice, you come to Greece. Hello! If you don't mind, please. Yes, thank, you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Can you smell like incense? Yeah. Of sorts. Thank you. Beautiful person. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I love the way they've got that thing and they call it, like soil and pepper. They said to right, so how does it all work? So you I have one sun, ice, fire, earth and sea. You have one of everything, do you? I don't know. Hello. 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 My <laughs> Definitely. Where have you been all my life? I'm going to say, Welcome to the rabbit hole. Right? My name is Nolvin. I will be your guide. Thank you. Thank you. So feel free to bother me anytime you like. Okay. Good. I am your survivor. First of all, this is your first time in the house? Yes. Welcome to the Alice favorite place, Wonderland. Right? We have a beautiful menu, fantastic choices from A to C. First of all, as this is your first time over here, let yeah. me offer you yeah. one of our signature cocktails. We have four signature cocktails. I always that take a signature cocktail. Oh, I love a signature cocktail. All right, cover it in your package if you yeah. have it. Yeah. Uh, we have a down to the rabbit hole. It's a combination of grapefruit vodka, fresh lime juice, San Germain liquor, we put a splash of champagne and a color of solution, blue or red, to give an extra flavor to the cocktail. Second of all, we have uh, white rabbit rita, it's a combination of Patron tequila, blue curacao, fresh lime juice, and salt pirin. Like no, no, that was too good. Yeah. Third, we have uh, old fashioned style, uh, right whiskey cocktail coming with the Angostura bitten and also maple syrup. It's a stronger side on the rocks and a smoke effect. And last but not least, we have a Cheshire Cat Cosmo, Ali's favorite cosmopolitan. It's made with grey good vodka. We put uh, cranberry juice, fresh lemon juice, and as well cotton candy at the top. Oh, you know, from the house. I love that one. And I'll have the old fashioned. Small green. That's really Wow. Are you ready for it? Right, okay, yeah. let's do it. Let's smell this beautiful sweet candy. Oh, wow. And you can bite it over here. Down to the rabbit hole. Hey. And last but not least, smoke effect. Ooh, thank you. Oh. Everything on Wonderland is imaginative to see. Based on Alice in Wonderland, of course. Uh, the story begins as you already have your menu on the hands and you have our five elements. 
right sun, ice, fire, sea, and earth are the elements who compose our menu. The chef will take those elements and will prepare different and untraditional dishes within the light of day today. Abacadabra. I don't know what the. Wow! <laughs> Beautiful elements, eyes and sun, element of fire down here. It's good, good, thank you. Pockets of heaven for you down here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, so a little, amazing. A little bit on history. First of all, we have the element of sun, tomato water. We blend the tomato, we squish it, the first remolet we discard it, we squish the tomato again and we create 100% clear tomato water. On the top floating you have esferification of red bell pepper, right? Like uh, pepper, yeah. Covering the tube is a bread food. The bread is toasted. I am taking this. We pick it up with corn, we pass it to a cheap float and put it onto the siphon and create clear food from bread. Garnish it with a fried baby basil. Next element will be the element of ice, crispy crab corn. The crab corn has esterification of wasabi on the bottom. Oh, I love wasabi. Ice, all right? Yeah. Then you have two types of crab meat, jambalom crab, Alaskan crab, and topping with the creamy avocado puree. So for you to enjoy, we have the first bite on the bottom first, it's gonna be a little bit spicy, and then second bite will be the creamy avocado with balance the flavor in your So you start eating the cone from the bottom, bottom up? And then this is okay. the flavor ice cream from Alice, all right? <laughs> Moving to the element of fire, you have on the middle the uh, burnet. The burnet is made with katai fido, it's baked, so you can enjoy the whole section. We put cacao powder and also blue cheese powder to give an extra color to the net. On the top you have the boiled eggs cut in a half. The egg yolk we remove it and we blend it with shirasha, a spicy mayo and tempura crab. And garnish it with two top of shirasha for extra spicy flavor. Next element of fire would be the shrimp kataifi. Marinate shrimp in lime. Wrap it on kataifi dough. Make it deep fried. It's going to be crispy in the outside. In the center wheat and tender shrimp. On the bottom is a squash bonnet form. Squash bonnet is a pepper family of the habanero. So it's going to be a little bit spicy. We blend it with cream and going to seattle the heat. So you're going to enjoy the two flavors, sweet and spicy at the same time. Last but not least, you have the liquid lobster, poached lobster, coming with the rich lobster beans, black caviar, and arvania. Fab. Mm. Could you have tomato water? Tomato water with. <laughs> <some bread. laughs> I don't quite know how this works. This is not. I can't believe it's safe. So oh. <laughs> Be careful, this is a pure tequila. Eh? Uh. <laughs> This is the bizarrest thing. <laughs> well, this one we need to start from the bottom, eat the bottom, and then go up. But wasabi at the bottom. Yeah. Oh my god, it's good hot. Not really. It's like... Yeah, 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 That corn's nice. Corn's really nice. Oh, chilli. Cream chilli mm. sauce. These things. And that's all edible. So what? It's all edible. Yeah. No, I mean the nest is edible as well. So what is that? Smoked blue cheese and hot sauce. What is this nest? Are we supposed to eat that? Right, try some nest.
bit messy. Mm. It smells very, tastes very smoky. Oh, what thank you. I got you here from the element of ice. Delicious. Thank you. Citrus tuna tartar, right? So you have on the top the yuzu granite. Yuzu granite is made with Japanese lime. So it's made as a sorbet. Garnish it, you have the tobiko caviar marinated in wasabi. Wow. And down to the sorbet, you have the tuna tartar. Jellofin tuna marinated with kimchi, uh, thicken kimchi, and a spicy mayo. So for you to enjoy, you have first the sorbet together with the tobiko caviar. Clean your pie. And then with the smallest spoon I provide, you dig inside the lime and enjoy the tuna tartar together with the parmesan. Wow, that looks nice, Liz. That's divine. Rip, delicious, short rip. Fab, thank you. Wow, okay. Get for the place, summer hot. Yeah. All right, then I have pink pepper corn thank sauce. Thank you. And portal lettuce sauce. Fab, okay. thank, thank you. Let me take a picture of that one. In front of you, you have a beautiful bird child pork belly cooked in three and a half hour process. Oh, wow. Could be very tender. Then you have on the bottom the celery remoulade made it with celery root and mustard. Lovely. During the process of the cooking of the pork, we remove the skin and we create crackling pork belly. So when we crush it, crunch it, get a pork skin, apple puree and apple chips around your pork together with the garnish of fried kale. Right? Yeah. Pepper pork sauce. Uh, pink pepper pork sauce for the pork. Five and a half hour cooking process in the chorri. Have to be mouth watering. Then you have a creamy mashed potato coming with flash tomato. As you can see in the preparation of the plate, you have two types of relish. The red one is made with the beetroot and sugar, the yellow one with beetroot and sesame oil. Two types of puree apple puree, and the light yellow one, button squash puree, and the dark yellow. Oh, look at that. How cute. A beautiful wool. Oh, wow. Yes. So I wow, before, we have the beautiful caramel ice cream, peanut butter brulee, brownie, fried crispy in the bottom, and the sphere of dark chocolate, which is gonna melt in front of the brunette. Wow. wow, thank you. Perfect, thank you very much. Beautiful mushroom garden, red velvet crown with dark chocolate, mango vanilla sorbet, fish plate on the red color, uh, meringue making the whole mushroom and the marshmallow verification on the top of the fish plate. Thank you. Thank you. So am I. What's the time, Liz? By the time we get back, you'll be half past twelve. That's no. <laughs> By the time we walk down this corridor. Have not anybody say good morning to us yet? <laughs> it's ten past twelve. And we're having an early one. We're just tired. Well, no, actually, let's lie. I'm tired. I'm absolutely no, I'm shattered. Um, yeah, so we're having an early one. Had a really good day though. It's about we, balancing, relaxing. Time yeah. Right, well, let's shut the door. We've managed to leave this we're door open twice. Is it today? Five and yeah, we won't be sunbathing today. Look, back. We've had our British summertime. Back to normality. Clouds, rain. Okay. Never mind. I think we we're oh, at the bottom. We've just gone around the bottom of Lands End. We're going to go along the Cornwall coastline, Cornwall Devon coastline in a minute. So yeah, I think we're going to try and maybe go up to Solaria and get. So we test out the hot tubs, have a look what's going on, have a wander around the ship. We've got lunch in Chop Squirrel and we've got dinner in Chop Squirrel tonight. Um, it's a bit of a booking nightmare, but it's fine. I'm sure we'll survive. The worst things that happen at sea. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's sad last day. Never like the last day. The only saving grace for this last day is less than two months, we're back on again.
see how it feels, but here's all the departure stuff, which is really sweet. And it looks as though we have to look at Toby, but look, look, look. Toby Turtle has a friend. Well, we got a friend. Toby Turtle ah! has a friend. Ah! Oh, I love that. Toby has a friend. I what that's the best. <laughs> Toby. Toby goes around the world with me. He was bought in Fort Lauderdale and goes around the world with me. I know he has. He just didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> now you're a bit fucking weird. <laughs> right, final night. What have we done today? It's probably been quite a quiet day for the video again. I'll keep busy, saying like. this, but it's been busy for us. We went for um, a private watch. History of watches. So they gave us history of Cartier, Tag, Hobla, 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 and Amiga. And it was really nice. They shut the shop, and it was just me and Liz and four, four that we stopped. I think would enjoy it. That it was good, wasn't it? So interesting. It was really interesting. Yeah, really interesting, and it's nice to see the history of the watch. Yeah. And find out things we didn't know, like yeah. the party thing. That's yeah, I learned loads of stuff. So that was really nice. So we went and done that. Then just sat and been to a few of the bars, as per normal. If anybody watches all my vlogs, you'll know that. Of course I've been sitting in bars all day because the weather's been horrible so there's not really a lot we could do and we just come back so it's just departure time we've got to leave at now even if you're walking off or you're putting your luggage outside you put your luggage outside it has to be outside by 11 but regardless we have to put the labels on and whatever even walk offs or luggage out has to all go out at the same time and it has to be staggered obviously because of covid there's not that many people on the boat anyway no, so anyway. we've got to leave at 7 15 tomorrow so oh. i know oh, it is exactly it um but yeah it hopefully it should be it's quite simple and there's not many instructions in the room it, you just turn the telly on and it's on the channel on the telly and they're telling you exactly what to do so yeah it's been absolutely lovely hasn't it amazing far better than i ever thought it could be and um simple and easy if it's been for simple and easy i just loved every minute of it yeah it was really good so we've got um crown grill tonight we're gonna go out say, chops oh, okay chops Seriously, I am so seriously still in Princess half the time. If I'm not going to Vines, I'm going to Vintages. If I'm not going to Chopsby, I'm going to Crangle. I'm a mess my time correcting you. Oh, what a bit like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's go. Let's see what the evening brings. Now I'm off on you to expect. You're not coming home with me tonight. You just want attention. Oh, my God. 
feels the way I do about you now. Southampton. First people are literally just getting off. Uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Should be illegal on holiday to be at seven o'clock in the morning, but we're not on holiday anymore. So we've just got to hop down the coast, get on another boat, and get back to the Isle of Wight. Oh, it's been amazing. It's really sad to be leaving, but as I said, we're back in two months, so not too long. But it seems to be what you do now is you wait in your room to be called they don't call you to the theatre or somewhere else to be disembarked um it says on the screen what time everyone is and what who's embarking and who's not so it's like here you go now calling and you just wait in your room it tells you where morning, to go ladies and gentlemen this time we are continuing our departure process and we're calling all guests with luggage tag numbers seven and eight yeah. we're off that's us bye to eight. You may now proceed to the being emotional